Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 215. It's Tuesday. Oh, we got a beautiful sunny morning today and nice light breeze. Uh, mid 70s, we're about 76, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Beautiful weather. <clears throat> um, we got our general labor crew on site. Uh, we are expecting a couple of the uh, subcontractors throughout the week. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow. We'll just see when they show up. And um, depends on what their schedule looks like, I guess. Um, and as they start showing up and uh, these guys get into places and positions, we'll walk you around and show you where everybody's at. So let's get started. Let's get started this morning. We're looking at the uh, here in the front door. Mr. Ricky is continuing to work on the painting. Looks like he's doing some of the uh, the gold enamel for our castings here. Let's look at this from the oh, there you go. You can see some of the shine off of the uh, off of the sunlight. Yeah, and and the front door. Mr. Henry is continuing to sand that, that big you call uh, door frame. Um, so he's already put in the uh, filler inside the, the grooves, trying to, and once they get that all done, uh, it'll, it'll all blend together. It's gonna be a beautiful piece coming into the front door. Let's take a look around inside, see where everybody's at. Mr. Joe is uh, sanding and painting in here in the uh, office area and his compadres his co-workers are back here in the in the dark <laughs> in the uh, bedroom number two in the guest room areas and Mr. Stanley and Mr. JR are continuing painting the trim so I'm getting this ready for uh, for the, the next coat of paint on the walls <coughs> excuse me also, today we've got all three of our electricians here today. So we got Mr. Cho, Mr. Kerwin, and Mr. Chokes. And they're starting to work the uh, pin light locations. Uh, some of the exterior lights, uh, some interior lights. They're redoing some of the uh, uh, wall penetrations uh, wherever they needed. Uh, apparently some of them when the uh, the, they weren't on site when the guys were doing the um, spandrel ceilings, so some of the uh, wires got dropped in the wrong places. Uh, so they're making those corrections. Small corrections. It's minor holes. No big deal. Um, our two, uh, two of our carpenters here, Mr. Allen and Mr. Alex, are continuing with the um, fabrication of the... Uh, fabrication of the archway for here in the living room had to make a couple of small adjustments uh, the uh, the edges didn't quite line up the way we were looking for so small adjustments and now we're on track so they're going to continue with this um, as I was describing yesterday what's going to happen is this board uh, piece here at the top is going to continue all the way down to the end and so will the uh, molding here on the bottom it will continue all the way to the wall um, underneath of here underneath this column we'll have some cornice work there where it looks like the column is supporting the archway um, we'll have to see that as it progresses and back here in the master bath and actually in the master closet mr ferdy and mr J jonathan uh, are continuing with the uh, baseboards in that direction <clears throat> And let's see, what else do I have? Oh yes, let's go ahead and head outside. In the back here, Mr. Ramos across the street there with the uh, bucket is busy been making the uh, dry pack for Mr. Jojo here, because Mr. Jojo is gonna work on um, tiling this area, as well as um, a little bit later, he will be tiling our gin pad and water filtration pad here. So we had the uh, the tiles that were left over from the uh, uh, 
um, master bath where they didn't fit the floor quite right. Um, so we're going to, instead of just wasting the materials, we're going to utilize them here, uh, give them a little bit of gap in between so it'll have the spacing for grout and whatever, and use them to uh, tile the uh, water filtration pad and grout pad and generator pad. So. All right, we've got a present in from uh, Lazada overnight. We uh, ordered one of our, our dining room uh, chandelier so we're kind of unboxing here looking to see what the inside looks like it was packed inside of a wood crate coming out of uh, China so kind of taking pieces apart here slowly that's what we got we got instructions of course all in Chinese so it's all pictures hopefully it's easy to put together hmm. we'll have to try this later <laughs> but we're just checking right now just to make sure everything's here so then nothing's broken uh, so lots of uh, glass pieces with hooks different little uh, so squares rods the sort plus the LED lights that come with it and all the, the little gold hooks used to uh, put them all together Mm -hmm. And then uh, mounting mounting brackets. So we'll put these in. They were in a they were in a bag. So you got these. Okay. Any, any others in there? Okay. Let's put this back in. And put that on top. See if we can lift this out without. Got it? Uh, no, just this yeah, it's just thing. Okay. Uh, pieces by pieces. Can we keep them together? Okay. Pretty substantial for little small pieces of glass. Very well wrapped. Yeah, 
they are. Very well made. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. That, that should be it. Okay. Put it all back in. Alright, our guys from uh, Premier Windows are back today. Uh, they are putting in screens and hardware. Um, so we're going to see them throughout the rest of the afternoon. Uh, full crew of eight. Um, they're also putting on some of the um, decorative pieces of the plastic to make this kind of like a, a French door style where it's got the, the brackets across it. And also on the inside, um, engineer's brother-in-law Al stopped by. Uh, looks like he went shopping. We've got uh, fixtures. We've got uh, electrical outlets. We've got uh, hose bibs. We've got faucets. We've got all kinds of things. Uh, so we should have uh, lots of progress coming in the next couple days. Let's go take a walk through the house real quick. Putting on some of the different little lock types on the windows. And in here in the uh, master's closet, Mr. Thirty is continuing to put in the uh, baseboard. Now the way they do this, they locate the boards first, then they're going to, um, they pre-drill a hole, so a pilot hole for where all the nails are going to be. Um, they go back in and put in, um, small pieces of wood, um, into the holes, uh, kind of like an expansion thing, um, and then put the, the nail into it. We're going to put on the uh, screens for the awning style windows. So what I didn't show you was that he was already um, pre-measured out, see where everything fit, and then now he's actually doing the install. So you see the little spacers down at the bottom, just enough to hold it up in place. We're going to put the screens on, and they're just lift up tight. Put in with pop rivets. Ta da! Another new thing for most people is you've never seen um, tile underneath the <laughs> cabinets. So the bottom of our cabinets uh, for here as well as in the uh, dirty kitchen is going to be a tile bottom. Tile bottom in here. This side's all wood. But this one over here underneath the sink, as well as uh, these bottom cabinets here in the dirty kitchen are all gonna be uh, tiled underneath. Well, yesterday, Monday, we were slow for personnel. Uh, today, we've got a full house. Uh, we've got the granite installers here today as well, and our windows, and <laughs> um, our general labor crew. Uh, we've got a, pretty much a full house in here. Uh, we're looking at about probably about 26 27 folks um, all around the house Woo it's busy i like it i like it i like it a lot and this in all this noise mr chokoy is going to start working the uh recessed floor outlets that we're going to have here little pop-ups ta-da we're going to have those right here and over there so we got our favorite uh, stone termite back at it again. He's uh, digging out the hole for where the uh, um, the four x four box for the floor outlets are going to go. So he's digging that out, getting it all ready. So he'll set, set that black box. That's the uh, four x four. It'll go down in the hole, flush mount um, with the uh, outlet sitting directly on top. 
Um, we got two of those, one on this side and one right here where you see the other two stub ups. Right, let's take see where everybody's at. We got a lot of noise going out here, uh, which means grinding on the, the granite over there. Uh, we've got tile going along here on the gym pad and the uh, water filtration area. Take, making use of the uh, the old uh, tile that wasn't usable for the uh, master's bath area. <clears throat> so they got the large slab of the pink granite in. They call it pink granite, but they're using that to, for the Jack and Jill bath. Um, our window installers are still working on um, still working on screens. We're getting those put in and other hardware. Let's go take a look inside and see what's going on. <clears throat> All right, so we're putting in the, uh, the designs on the windows. Now in the States, normally, um, you buy the windows and this design is already done on the inside between sandwiched between two sheets of glass well here it's only a single sheet of glass and it's a little bit thicker uh, so we got six millimeter glass but they're putting the the pvc on the outside to give it that french design look like it's a um like it's a french door okay so we're still working on tile down here below the um kitchen cabinet It'll be good. Almost done with this one. One little piece left. And then he's going to get started over here in the dirty kitchen area doing the same thing. All right. Let's go take a look. Mr. Henry's still working on that door all week. <laughs> all right. Let's see what's going on back here. We got our screens on for the um, awning windows, magnet type at the bottom. We've got the screen on here for our main window. So it just slides out on the, on the one, open up what you need and slide it back into place. Looks good. <clears throat> And we've got the weather stripping in it, so you can see that little pieces and remnants all over. Let's take a look here. I believe Mr. Ferdy has finished with the baseboards. Oh, no, he's got one more piece on the baseboard here. But yeah, he's almost done with the baseboards here in the master closet area. And another one of our gentlemen with the screens and hardware. So this guy here is putting in the uh, hardware for the locking systems. And our uh, archway here in the uh, living room is almost back to where it was. Um, so what, we're, what we've done is make this one panel the same width all the way across. So this is flush all the way across here. And we're going to have the um, the molding that goes along here along the bottom is going to extend out both sides. So that's what uh, Mr. Allen and Mr. Alex have been working on for most of the day. Our uh, granite installers are also doing a little bit of uh, grinding for us here on the, um, the sink basins. Uh, so they have to get it to where it fits the, uh, the sink that's going in. We'll show you that right over here. They've already got that in. So you see the, where, the, uh, where the, the overflow valve is here on the front? There's a, a groove underneath that needs to have a space right here. So they're grinding that in uh, for us since when the installer, the, the first folks that did the, the cabinet, uh, put it in backwards. And so they're getting ready for this. This is what they're out there, out there cutting on the back, excuse me, in the backyard. Real quick look, this is what the, uh, they're calling it a pink granite. This is actually brown, but they call it a pink. Um, so this is what's going in the Jack and Jill. So they're getting ready, still cutting the bottoms underneath, getting it ready for 45 so they can do the uh, double riser that they call it on the front. 
All right, we're getting the uh, first coat of sealer on this beautiful wooden door frame. Um, so first coat sealer, then we start sanding again tomorrow. And ultra fina, he says, so more, uh, more fine sealant. Well, we've been all focused on the inside. We haven't caught up with our outside guys in a while. Mr. Lloyd and Mr. Uh, Ricky are over here and we're still working on uh, doing a little bit of skim coating now on the posts for the fence wall uh, because soon these will be getting painted as well. Um, primary focus <coughs> for most of the painters is interior with the exception of these uh, fence grills. So these two guys out here trucking along. I found the gas chamber. Gas, gas, gas. <laughs> so, this is what the uh, painter, Mr. Joe, is working on. Looks like a little bit of base coat first. Of a light gray. And over here in the corner, Zach and Jill's getting it started. Hello. You're going to fix the bubble. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, they said they're going to fix the sink. Yeah, but I'm only fixing All right, so I found the uh, painter's stash here. So what we're using is acrylic paint, which is here in the white cans. You see these? A little bit of white automotive lacquer white a little bit of gray added in and um, the acrylic lacquer thinner so that's what we're using uh, they mix in a little bit of the black just a very small amount mix it in and they get the right uh, the right base color uh, dilute it down with the acrylic thinner and that's what they're using to push the uh, the paint through the airbrush on the uh, for the air compressor system. All right, our French door grills are in. They're getting ready to put on the. Um, they have a brush that goes along the bottom. They're getting ready to put that on. And they're still working on um, silicone. Some of the some of the outsides of the windows. They do have another day, um, half day's worth of work. Um, we have most of the locks and uh, screens in place. You see, we got locks here for side to side, lock here for opening, and then also the nice big screen. So, our uh, window guys from Premier Windows will be back another day, hopefully tomorrow. Well, it's yabba dabba do time. You guys are uh, getting ready to head out. Actually, some of them are already heading out. Uh, we didn't quite finish all of the windows, but we're close. I think we have five or six that still require mechanisms and uh, screens. And before they start going around to uh, seal all the edges, uh, the silicone sealant around all the edges inside and out. Um, so. Unfortunately, the guys don't know when they're going to be back. Uh, they have to wait on their scheduler, scheduler to tell them that, but hopefully it's the end of this week, before the end of this week. Um, yeah, other than that, we got a lot of painting done and a uh, little bit of progress on our archway up here. So if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Tex Pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless.